Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Spartan spear like in the movie 300, a hoplite spear and uh, it's a pretty simple project to do and it comes out pretty nice and here I'll show you a quick look at the completed version of it here, I'll cut it right in. So here's the materials you need to make this spear. Uh, you need a some kind of a dowel or or round um, post here. You can use a broomstick for this. Um, you need a saw, some paint, some glue. You can be white glue or yellow glue. Wood carpenter's glue works really well. You need a piece of cardboard, a, a template, and I'll explain a bit more about that. You need some tape, maybe some duct tape or electrical tape, and a uh, a knife or scissors, and or scissors, either one or both, and a pencil to, to draw with. And what this template is here is this is for the point and the butt of the spear that you make out of cardboard and you attach to the actual dowel or broomstick. And I have this on my website so you can download it and print it up and, uh, and cut it out and use it to make your spear. So let me uh, go over a couple of things here. What you, what you should do is print this up and then Cut these out, cut out these various patterns, these six patterns here, and then trace them onto a piece of cardboard, which I have already prepared here. You put them on the cardboard, trace them out, and then you cut these six pieces out to make the, uh, the butt of the spear and the point of the spear. And then you glue them together like this. See, and I, I used a little, uh, this little jar here to hold it in place while it was, while it was gluing. So here's the, um, the point of the spear. Came out nice. That's three pieces. You glue it and you let that sit. And here's the butt of the spear here. So this would be the other end. And once I paint this up, this will look really good. So there you go. Here. Get a closer look at that. Closer look at the point of the spear. So that's both ends of the spear. So what you do is you take your, um, your broomstick and you cut a notch in it like this. If you can see that, I cut with the with the saw. I cut a notch one way, about an inch deep. Go about an inch deep, cut it this way, and then turned it and cut it the other way, like this. So it makes a nice X. So then you can insert the cardboard right into that, and I'll I'll show you that in a minute. And you do that both ends. I've already gone ahead and done this. So you do that at both ends. So you can put the butt of the spear, the butt of the spear, and the point of the spear right on that pole. Okay, you can see I inserted the butt of the, sp butt of the spear onto the spear here, and I glued it in place. And I've also done the, 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 the tip of the spear, the spear point. So, once that dries, I'll wrap some tape around this to keep it nice and strong on both ends. And then uh, I will wrap some tape approximately in the middle of the spear to um, use as a handle. And then I will paint the whole thing black. Uh, you can, if you want to stay traditional, you can paint, you can paint the handle brown. Uh, the, the, the shaft of the spear brown and the tips, the, both the, the point and the butt of the spear black and it'll look really good so I'm gonna finish this up, I'm gonna let it dry, I'll finish it up and I will show you the completed spear. Just one more quick thing before I finish up this spear as I wanted to show you, I put some uh, electrical tape on here on the very end once the glue dried on both ends like this and that'll help keep the uh, tips from a bending or breaking. So you might want to tape it up <clears throat> after the glue dries and uh, now I'm ready to paint this thing and I'll show you the final product. Oh I uh, wanted to mention too that if you want to make the, an official size spear, mine is a little short, um, this is the size dowel I had, um, you can go as, as high as uh, 83 inches in length, that's the official length is 83 inches from tip to tip. So you may want to pick up a dowel or a broomstick if you can get one that's like maybe about six feet long, the dowel about six feet long, which is 72 inches, and then the tips will bring you close to 83 inches. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so I will, and uh, <clears throat> if you like Spartan stuff, I do have a, a Spartan helmet project that you can make if you if you want to do that, and I have some, I have a lot of other stuff. I have cardboard swords, I have uh, cardboard uh, shields, and I'm going to be doing some more Spartan stuff. I'm going to be doing a Spartan shield, and I'm going to be taking a trip to Greece pretty soon. So I'm actually going to be going to the 
the battles, the battle, uh, the battleground at Thermopylae. So, and I'll I'll have some videos for that. So, if you if you don't subscribe to my channel and you like that kind of stuff, you may want to subscribe, so you can check out my videos in the future in Greece at Thermopylae, and I'll have some stuff from there about the Spartan warriors and the battle and whatnot. They have a monument there and other stuff. So, let me show you the finished project coming up. Okay, here you go. Here's the completed spear. It looks good. It's painted. The paint is dry. And I painted it all black. You can paint it brown and black if you want. Here's the back end. The butt of the spear. So, uh, say quick safety note. If you're going to make this project, of course, this is just for ornament or for display or for a costume. Um, you should never, of course, throw it at anybody. Even though it's cardboard, it's still pointy on the end and you could still hurt somebody. So never, you know, never jab it at a person or throw it at a person or anything like that. Just be safe with it and have fun. And I will put the URL to this project so you can download the paperwork and see more of the project exactly step by step how to do it on my website at stormthecastle.com. And I'll show the URL here in the, in the video right here. And it's also in the description. All right, thanks for watching. Plenty more projects coming. And uh, it'd be great. I'd uh, appreciate it if you, if you like my project, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks.